Um, I have a question. Yeah. So I actually lost you at the, uh, what was that? At mounting the Google. Uh, ah, okay, okay. And now I did it, it seems mm -hmm. to be right, but then mm -hmm. I, I'm just there like at, you know, mounted at content drive. But yeah, yeah, yeah. After that. Can you show your screen? Yep. Yeah, okay, so after that, you make a, a new code. What? Code. Okay, this is, oh, this one, okay. <laughs> it's in I'll, I'll change it to color, yeah, yeah. Um, and? And over there, uh, the percentage sign. Percentage sign. And CD, that's a change directory, the short for changed directory. CD, yeah, and then space. And the uh, uh, forward slash content. Forward slash. Uh, yeah, content forward slash drive. Slash my drive. My drive with the uh, M and D to be capitalized. Yeah, and then the uh, enter, next line, and the, uh, a, the ex expression mark. What? Which? The... <laughs> yeah, this, ah, that this one. one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the uh, uh, M K D I R. M K D I R. Yeah, that's short for the make directory. Mm. Space. Collab T S N E. C O L A B. And then with a capital T S N E. Yeah, and run it. Oh, right, yes. Yeah, and then now go back to your the, uh, the Google Drive. Uh, it's gonna be like under my drive. Yeah, yeah. There should be folder here, right there. It's already created. Yes. Ah, oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, and you double click that, and then you make the uh, folder called the uh, TSNE. Um, actually, from now on, I'll I'll actually share my screen. Uh, yeah, it might be easier. Stop on. Stop. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so here, uh, on the on, on so you have this folder, and then you you can have you can upload you can create new folder. Mm -hmm. called the TSNE grid master with the uh, dash dash. And once you're in there, you upload the Python the, uh, file that we just uh, uh, created, TSNE grid dot uh, py. You upload this, and then you also upload your image. Mm. Right. Don't, don't upload it as a zip file format. Uh, oh. Just upload it as a you know unzip uh, version. You don't need. I mean, potentially you will need to, you will use these two, but then for the testing purposes, uh, I would use just the uh, image one to eight. So, just upload prioritizing upload upload uh, uploading the uh, image one to eight for now because it takes a while to upload. Uh, which one you said? Uh, five five hundred twelve or, or? Well, yeah, one to eight. One to eight. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I uploaded the other one actually. And uh, if you already uploaded that, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'll keep it then. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Is everyone here? Shall we start? I'm here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll start from now uh, here. So after that, uh, 
uh, also I forgot to mention, if you want to keep the, uh, add some text here, you can actually, uh, you know, make some notation here. Like TSN, this is a TSNE agreed master. This is a SDP uh, uh, workshop by me and uh, on November 13, uh, 2021. Once you have that, it, it, it has it has this, uh, you know, the, the text here. You can also, like, you know, change some format here. Like, for example, you can make this like thicker and bigger, uh, you know. So, you know, you see the preview, you see the preview here. And uh, also for this one, if you want to add the explanations, like uh, this, uh, to um, so for for your own you know um, reference you can make this well now like I'm going to uh, go back to uh, working more on the uh, directory stuff so now we have the uh, this uh, tracing TSN grid master folder uh, you can either type it in. Uh, manually, or you can go to the uh, this call app TSNE, and then you can go to here, and then you, you have this folder, and then you can copy the director, co copy the path here, and you can just uh, copy and paste this here, so that you don't you don't have to worry about your mistake. And then once that's done, you your your director is now changed to this folder. It, this is very important because. It, Otherwise, the computer doesn't, or the Google Call app doesn't know where your file is located, right? And after that, we're going to uh, indicate that the, uh, this uh, whole process is going to be run on the TensorFlow, specific version of a TensorFlow. So this is a basically telling we're going to use TensorPoint, the Tensor, TensorFlow 1, not TensorFlow 2, uh, as I mentioned in the earlier class. So you run this, and now it says that TensorFlow uh, 1 is selected, yes? And uh, uh, now we don't have to worry about tens the TensorFlow. Uh, then uh, actually one features that you, you, you have to change here is a change runtime type here, hardware accelerator. You, can, you should select GPU because this is a parallel processing. So, Make sure you select that. And if you have a, a Google call that premium, you can use a high RAM, which will up unlock some possibilities for you to process larger size images. Or uh, because I have high RAM available, I'm going to use high RAM, but then it's perfectly okay if you don't have it. So just, but make sure that you're using GPU, okay? So set, set this, make these changes. And then sometimes after you uh, change your runtime, you have to reconnect your uh, stuff. As you can see here, it wants you to remount your uh, the, uh, hard drive. So I'll go through this again and uh, mount this here. Let's wait for a bit, uh, it is mounted. And then you do this process uh, again and again. Yeah, and uh, uh, now uh, we want to make sure that our GPU is, uh, that, that, you know, our, our GPU connection is uh, uh, established. And then this is the uh, code to check the, uh, if you're using the GPU. And what kind of GPU you got uh, just for the fun. Um, Actually, this is very small, right? So this is, it, it would be better if I zoom in like this. Okay. And this is checking if, you know, if we have the connection.
Yeah. So once you finish this, writing, writing, finishing this, you run this. Uh, cool. um, join the queue info. Uh, Same GF info is not defined. Really? Why? Uh, I made a typo here. Okay, now it's working. Um, now you see that I'm connected to this uh, um, uh, the driver and then we're using the Tesla P P10, which is very powerful uh, GPU. P hundred connect. Yeah, it's a professional GPU that you you cannot really get from the uh, commercial market. So it's supposed to be so much powerful than the um, what you have as a, um, a gaming GPU. So now we know that we're in the hands rents and the. Uh, um, after we check the uh, GPU, we have to, most of the time you don't have to do this, but then the, for the, uh, this, uh, the LabJV library I, or the API, I had to uh, install it manually. So that, that manual insulate for the manual installation in the uh, um, Google Colab, what you do is to do this, pip uh, install LabJV, yeah? And this is uh, installing the API. Uh, sorry for the interrupt there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I, I don't know, for some reason, I cannot deal with that error of GPU info is not defined error here. Uh, yeah, share your screen. Yes, thank you. Uh, So, oh yeah, in four, yeah, <laughs> you made the same mistake. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> cool, okay. awesome, thank you. Uh, can you show how to go to the setting again to make it connected to the GPU? You mean this one? Uh, uh setting. Uh. Run on okay. its own runtime. Okay. Runtime, change runtime type. Let's see. Okay, I got it. Thank you. You got it. Yes. Does anyone need more time? Yes, yes. Uh, one second. I, I am not yet uh, connecting to the EPU. Uh, um, I can just share right now quickly. Okay. Do you also see the error message when you uh, execute that uh, PIP install that messages? Like that shows you must restart the runtime in order to use newly installed version. You you need to push this uh, print key print uh, print um, by tap one tap. Oh, okay, it's the uh, indentation. One second. Mm -hmm. Okay. You try again. Yeah. Not connected to GPU. You probably didn't change your uh, the uh, runtime setting. Go to the runtime. What do you see that? Um, runtime. No, like here, here, here. Runtime. Oh, okay, runtime. Then uh, change runtime type. Okay, GPU. Change it to GPU. Yes. Yeah. Save. And after that, you have to mount your, you know, uh, okay. drive and you know to to this thing.
ya. Um, ya. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, do, do this again. Do, do all this again. Make sure you just run this every time when you connect it to the new uh, new condition. Okay. And okay. Now you have. Now you have it. Yeah. Now you have it. GPS. I have it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, great, great. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Excuse me, may I also share my screen? I couldn't connect it to you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Thank you. This is too long. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, there is a typo. Okay. Here. GPU info rather than a GRPU info. Yeah, run it again. Is it okay? Sorry, yeah. Uh, can you scroll this down? I'll oh, scroll this uh, to the right so that I can check it. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, you got it, you got it. Thank you. Okay, so um, has everyone uh, done this? Uh, are we all here? Save install. Uh, yes, I am. Okay. But I'm not sure of this, but yes. Okay. Um, yeah, let's keep going. So here, uh, now we're going to call the, uh, the Python, Python file that we made. And to, to do that, we, the, the command, a command for that is a, this, this Python. You call Python and the, your name of the Python file tsne grid py yeah then it's calling the python and you remember we made uh, all this effort to make the interchangeability of the uh, variables uh, without actually opening the uh, python file so there are these um, seven variables most important thing here is the uh, um, direction. You, you need to define the direction first, right? Direction is the in direction, not out direction here. So which in this case, in my case, it'll be image one to eight. For those of you who uploaded the image uh, five one two, you should say image five one two. This is indicating for the folder that is inside of the case integrate master. Yeah, uh, this is possible because we already made the uh, directory changes here. So we're in the current folder. So we don't have to, like, let's say, to, uh, we don't have to indicate it like this. Does that make sense? Like in, in this is a full directory, but then because we're in that folder, we just call image one to eight, yeah? And, uh, uh, and now we are going to define the desirable size for the, uh, um, the grid. For the starter, I'm just going to put 10. Um, and then we're going to name this um, as uh, I don't know, test uh, run ring tutorial dot PNG or, or JPG. This, this should be JPG actually for this part, yeah, I think. The JPG, and then now uh, we're going to define the resolution of the, the, the small patch images. For my case, it will be one to eight. Uh, for those of you who uploaded the image five one two, it should be five one two. And now we're going to define the perplexity, and then the short for the perplexity is a per here. So I'm going to set that as a fifty for now, and then the, we need to also define the. Uh, the iteration number of iteration 
uh, and the iter to show for the iteration is the iter. So the, uh, I'm going to put it on uh, 5,000 for now. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are here. What is the difference between the column and two double dash between so that? Here we define two different the, uh, the variables. Oh, oh two, got two, it. Two, two different color here. Mm -hmm. So you can either use just this, or you, you should use this. This is got it. basically the same thing. Okay. So I'm going to run this. It could take a, a few minutes. You see like how it's uh, trying to download the, uh, the all this library that we uh, defined here. Keras is trying to now download the Keras. And then this is all connected to the GitHub. Um, so when you make uh, your own repository in the GitHub, you can link this to the, uh, this sort of a uh, system where you can, you can share your uh, code and data to everyone else in the world, which is very powerful tool. Um, Google Colab is not very old. Uh, it's been out there for a while, but then just recently it became very useful. So it is a very powerful tool. You, you can just run the machine learning on your laptop. Doesn't matter, right? Because uh, you're just borrowing the uh, Google's the uh, practice card, which is amazing. So um, yeah. While I'm waiting for that, if you guys have any questions, just ask me. And then also you should try to run this on your own too. And if you run into any error, let me know. Uh, I try to run this too, but it simply just says like Python three and can't open file, PSNE, like grade dot Python no such file or directory. Did you upload your uh, Python file in the TSNE grid master? Yeah, I did. It's in the it's in the drive folder. Is this in a specific directory, like my drive, call it TSNE, TSNE grid master? Yeah, I did the same thing. Do, can you try uh, the code that I send you on my link, uh, on the chat at this, this TSNE grid, PY, .py? Uh, let's see. It could be a problem where uh, I'm using, let's say Python 3. Point, I think four or seven, something like that. But then your, uh, the PyCharm environment was indicating that it's just the Python 3. So there could be uh, some sort of a misunderstanding between the, your uh, Python file and then the um, uh, Google Colab. So oh, sorry. try my code. I um I download your code and uh -huh. put in. Yeah, so I'm actually using your code in the drive. Yeah, let me know how it goes. Uh, uh no no I did uh I did download your code and put in the drive, but it says I like, can't open file, can't open this one, no such file directory. Can you uh can you share your screen again? Okay, uh let me let me log in to Zoom with my PC. How's everyone else doing? I had the same problem as, as her, you know, um, and I, I uploaded your code as well. Um, and I have, it's saying that there's no such file or uh, directory. Uh, I, I assume that the, the problem is with the mounting drive thing. Uh, so try to terminate your current uh, the uh, current runtime. How to do that is that you go to the manage sessions here. You can see it, manage sessions. And I currently have uh, two sessions open for some reason, but you know, uh, you can actually terminate what you already have inside and then the uh, reconnect and then remount your uh, drive. Okay, I'll try that. Yeah. And don't forget to do all this after you mount your drive again. Mm -hmm. So do play, 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 play. Like this is important. 
Uh, can you show how to do the manage session again? Yes. On this small arrow, if you click it, menu session, you can click terminate. So I'm trying to terminate one of them. Or... Can you share your screen? Sure. Just terminate everything in, in there. Okay. Yeah, and close it. And then go to the top. And it's uh, yeah, drive uh, mount your mount your drive. Okay. No, it's working. Oh, okay. It's yeah, great. magic. It's magic. I, I, mm -hmm. I got a uh, an error that says no module name uh, LAPJV. In the uh, lab. Can you share your screen? Here in the last cell, it's saying that error here. Uh, did you remount your drive? Yes, yes, I, I remounted it and went through all of these. Um, so yeah, all of this work. Uh, but no, you just skipped one. Uh, changed this tool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's see, okay, I'm connected to that. Yeah. Did you reinstall your uh, LAPJV when you remounted your drive? Yeah, I did. Um, okay, let's see. What's that thing at the end that says? It's don't, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. It, it worked. It looks like it yeah. worked. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my thing is still processing. So, uh, but it should work, you know. Um, Um, yep. I'm actually stuck at the, the GPU thing. Yes, yes, okay, we can go with this. Can you compare your writings and the indentations and all everything? Yeah, yeah I did my... all of that. Uh, okay. So I got like the same results. Should I just proceed to the next one, the next quote? What do you mean same result? Um, uh, it says like no running process found. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, because we're yeah. you're 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 currently not running anything. No, but yeah, should yeah, I yeah. then proceed to the pip? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, next, next, yes.
When did you say we have to do like we mount? After uh, whenever, which? whenever you change your runtime. So if if something's not working, it's safe to say like let's say oh we I need to remount everything. You know, <laughs> it's oh, okay. it's a common common oh. kind of error and uh, yeah. Okay, but if I don't have anything, okay, I, I see. I can write the last code then. Uh, can you go down to the last one? The yeah. Mm -hmm. five. Yeah, that one. Uh, actually, mine stops and shows it some kind of error messages that says cannot fit zero images in 10 by 10 grids. I think you didn't upload your images in the correct naming convention. In your TSNE grid master, did you upload an image one to eight? Yes, I did. Really? Uh, and what is, is everything exactly the same on your uh, code or command line? Right, yes. Actually, also, there are some errors happen by uh, coding that Python file. So I use the your one. Uh huh. And it just stops. <laughs> Can you share? Yeah, well. Uh... I uh, can you see that. Can you go to your Google Drive, uh, TNC Grid Master? Yeah. yeah. Can you go here. to the image, image, image one to eight inside? Oh, uh, you have another. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, so how can I do that? Okay. Just if you go, if you click this arrow. Yeah. Move to. Yeah, uh, go back and yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Deselect that, deselect that. Uh, yeah, good, click, click, yes, any grid master again. Click, click, click the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and move. Move. Yeah. Yes, yeah, now, now the, the problem is solved. And can you go, go back again here? Yeah. And now uh, one of them is empty. It delete the empty. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. See, like this directory is very important. Uh, so you mm. need to follow exactly what I did. Awesome. And yep. I'm going to well, yeah, try okay. again. Yeah. I think it works, right? Oh, maybe not. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe remount. Maybe. Remount. remount. You, I think you need to remount. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Uh, go to the top and, you know, do this again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. What the? What the hell is that? Uh, I've never seen that error before. <laughs> uh, oh, what is that? What is that? Like that? That should be changed. Uh, click this. Geez. Click this, and uh, yeah, change change the name. Yeah, yeah and delete it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, let's try that again. 
just if, if it doesn't work, just skip this and then go to the next one. This one, okay. this will give you the what what the hell is happening? Um, <laughs> ter terminate terminate your current session and then uh re redo. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Ter ter to terminate, you you go here. Uh, maybe. Uh, um, session management here. This one, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, just you know, terminate everything. Terminate, terminate, terminate. Okay. All right. And then we try mounting it. And then no, before before that, actually check the runtime. Check the runtime. It's oh, okay. Yeah, check the runtime. GPU. Uh, GPU, okay, good, good, good. Yeah. And then I'm gonna start that again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh, can I delete this one here, just in point, by chance? Just, just, just leave it. Just leave it. I just leave it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we go. Okay, now um, try All that right. again. Yeah. Okay, cool. that work. Now next one work. Uh okay. Yeah. Keep going. That works. Next one. No, 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 uh, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Okay. Those kind of errors are not critical error. The reason why uh, it's ha having problem is that the uh, uh, we're using the TensorFlow uh, 1.15, not the two TensorFlow two. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're just like warning you that we're not going to support uh, the TensorFlow one at some point and you know we should update. That's all. Got it. Okay. Seems like it's working, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Should it take longer if uh, if I use the uh, 512 folder inside? Yeah. Yeah. It will take longer. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you if you see my screen, it this is what you see, what you should see. Uh, once it's uh, you know starting to process images, so it's processing images like this, and at the end it will say generating a two D representation, generating image grid, just like we designed here. At the end, uh, uh, where is the text thing here? Uh, well, um, yeah, generating generating two D representation. And then generating image grid so that you know that it is working, and it, it says it already generated the uh, image, right? The where you where do you find them? It should be in the TSNE grid master. If you don't specify your outer otherwise, just like uh, here, the path. If you don't define the path, as you can see here on top, uh, I didn't define the path here, right? I didn't define. It. So it will just go to the default, which is the same within the same folder, right? So it created that image here. Let's see what, what it made. See, this is a 10 by 10 grid, uh, the facade, uh, uh, and you know, it's, it's working. Nice, yeah. There are other, uh, other tests that I uh, ran previously here um, using the same code. Uh, yeah, and you can go as you know as low as you, you want, and then you can actually make quite small but then interesting. Like you can find like architecture kind of shape within this uh, you know 
the grid and then you can harvest this uh, portion and then put we will put this in the um, Houdini tomorrow uh, to to make actual facade from the existing to the images. Um, the number the number of uh, grid cells that you have in that image is that set by the by the size. Uh, more, uh, this is this is five by five. This is five by. Yeah. Well, what is that controlling? Uh, um, what is controlling that in the in the code? Uh, okay. Um, so here, size. Size ten. So if I say like size fifty, it will be denser, right? But can you do size 50? Do you have them in image? Oh, um, so uh, how do I know that? Uh, uh, as I was explaining before in the beginning of the class, uh, the, uh, let's go to the... Um, you mean when you as uh, um, a square, you do the, the square root? Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. Yeah, so as I was drawing, you you have, let's say this is your final output, right? And then let's say we have a, a five by five, just, just for the convenience. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So in this grid, 25 images can fit here. But mm -hmm. what if you only have 20 and then you wanna do 10? Can computer create some uh, the uh, images for the, for the rest of missing it, the images? No, right? So the your size of a data size of a, size of a data means number of the images that you have in your folder determines the maximum number for the uh, grid. Right, right, right. And we also made the pull proof system on top here. Uh, Where is it? Or it's not, maybe not on top. Um, oh, here. So if you have if you have uh, more, if you put like, let's say bigger size number, then the total number of the images that's the uh, that can potentially uh, house the uh, or the you know uh, make the, the image assembly possible, it will give you warning. So you know that what you you know uh, what where you made the mistake. So let's say for this data set, thirty two is the maximum that you can run. But let's say I put thirty three. It says now value error cannot be. 1,024 images into 33 by 32 grid. Why is that? 33 multiplied by 33 is uh, actually more than uh, 121. Mm -hmm. I mean, 1024, right? Yeah. No, Makes yeah. Sense? Yeah, totally. Yes, yes. OK, okay. great, great. Uh, did anyone have a successful uh, image making so far, other than me? Uh, I think I did. Okay, I did. can you show us? Uh, let's see. Is this what you mean? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Can you go to the TSN Grid Master? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, can you refresh? Yay, there is the final person the image. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. Nice, nice. Uh, so one interesting thing about the having more uh, image than the your grid system. So this is like 10 by 10, right? 10 by 10. Mm -hmm. But the potential, potentially you can do 30, uh, 32 by 32 grid with the current data set size. The thing is that the, whenever you run this 10, 10 by 10, you will have different like architectural elements uh, pop up 
for whenever you generate the uh, 10 by 10, because it's uh, like randomly picking uh, the data seed from that pool. So if this is like a, some sort of, I don't know, like artificial fish fishing uh, the, uh, the pool, you have like so many fish in there. And then the, what the chessin does is that you pick a few fishes and they try to fit it in the grid. Right, so based on the, uh, when you run it, uh, you, you would have a different result. So if you don't like this current composition, you can keep, keep running and then see, you, you know, keep running until you find the, your favorite composition. Okay, so anyone else? Um, I had this problem as many other students in here that I can't open like Python 3 is not, it, it doesn't find the file. Okay, let's uh, yeah. troubleshoot that. Yeah, share your screen. Uh, yes, I tried to remount, but um, it doesn't work yet. Mm. Share it. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you go to your drive? Yeah. PSNEGrid.py. Okay, it is there. Um, go back to the collab. Uh, let's let's actually remount your drive from the beginning. So click this. Click here. Drive already. Uh, oh, this one. Okay. Yeah, and then the uh, menu session. And the, it terminate everything. Yeah, and um, exit from that window. And uh, now reconnect. And then check the uh, uh, your um, runtime. GPU, yeah, okay. Make sure you have it there, yeah. And uh, mount, mount it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, no, no, you have to run uh, all the things uh, sequentially. So this, this, everything. Oh, okay. Uh. Because if you don't specify your current directory, mm. which is what, which was on the number three, can you go to number three? Here, yeah. If you don't specify your, uh, the directory for the uh, uh, where where the TSN grid master is, mm. the collab cannot find where the Python file is. Yes. Okay. So not then this should I this one as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whenever you're doing this, you have to redo this again because it's not going to be some sort of a setup that you're going to have on your local computer. You're basically borrowing Google's computer to do your job. And that computer is not on the window. They're operating on the Linux or something. So whenever you're installing new thing or the connect, connect to the, the computer, you need to set up the environment and the directory and everything in the way uh, that it's, it requires to run. Mm -hmm. Okay, then now you run that Python. Okay, it's working now. Yeah. Oh, nice. 
Thanks. Um, Yeah, it should take a while. Um, but uh, you should play this uh, uh, tonight and tomorrow before coming to the class. All, all you guys, and then the, have your uh, have your like favorite composition ready so that we can uh, we can compare this with or not compare, but we can use this as a uh, to the image that we're going to interpret as a three D. Okay. Today, uh, the goal was to cover some of the uh, processing to analyze these images, but uh, uh, I think I'm going to have to push that for uh, tomorrow uh, because we don't have enough time to cover that. Uh, yeah, so what, let me just uh, show you quickly what I was going to do for um, tonight. Mm. And the, don't delete your current, don't delete your iterations. Whenever you do new run, just save the old file in different name or the save new file in the different name so that you don't override your uh, old image, right? So that you can have a multiple images uh, demonstrating different types of uh, art, the facade element composition so that we can use that, those images to uh, make something uh, interesting, okay? Um, so let me share my screen real quick. And the, this is the, uh, uh, the processing that I was going to do today. Uh, basically, what it does is that uh, it's a trying to um, find, find the, uh, let's say, um, matching quality among images. So I have all these images uploaded in, the, um, in this folder. And then they're from uh, different, let's say, uh, iterations and the different um, perplexity. So they have a little bit of a, like, different, let's say, uh, qualities here. So as you can see, this one, especially of uh, facade of, uh, two, this is at the lower uh, perplexity. So that the uh, aggregation uh, among the similar elements are a little bit more chaotic and uh, let's say compared to the uh, uh, facade of three. So how can you distinguish the differences between the one to another, right? So what I, what I did was that the, um, there is the, this tool called the uh, uh, bucket. And then what the bucket does is that the, you literally like scoop out some color information by uh, the, the bucket size. So there is a bucket size here. This is by pixel. It's going to up, like, you know, harvest 33 by 32 pixel here. And then the um, uh, define the uh, RGB uh, value within there. And then trying to compare that information with the other uh, the images within this folder. And then trying to make some like a uh, image matching between the one to another. So if I show you um, how this works is currently I'm comparing the facade all four to other stuff. And uh, this is the like result. So um, you can change the change the tuning the, the size of this and then fine tune this. For example, if your bucket size is bigger than the, your tile size, uh, like smaller than the, your tile size, what will happen is that the, it will do oversampling and then uh, create this some sort of a, a mismatch and overlapping between uh, between images. So if I open um, image number four. This is, in some ways, this image right here is a kind of a almost like an average of a uh, this image. Um, so yeah, we're going to do this tomorrow uh, before we uh, jump into the Houdini. 
but or or, or, or do you guys rather want to spend more time on the Houdini and then do these like uh, extra things at the end if we have time? What's what's your what what's you guys' opinion? I think that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm interested in in those as well, but yeah, I mean, but I guess uh, I, I guess we all want to see the Houdini part first. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, let's do that. And uh, so tomorrow, uh, you, what you guys have, what you guys have to do is to play with this a little bit with the different size and the perplexity and you know iteration. You know, just don't don't change it that much. Like, it doesn't make that much of a change if it's like a, already five thousand, five thousand, and then you know ten thousand doesn't make a crazy difference. But if you want to get like a faster outcome, you can probably go up like uh, as low as like a thousand. So yeah, keep in mind that the more iteration, it takes more time. And then the more, the bigger the size of that your image, bigger the size the image, it takes longer time. And then the <coughs> perplexity, 50 is where it kind of, a, you know, the graph is like this, this is a, most aggregated and then this is like a less aggregated or something. So it's, it's you have to try that out uh, for yourself to get the desired result. Okay, so remember that for the, uh, uh, for the uh, image one, one to eight, the size limit is at 32. And uh, for, um, for image, image, image five, one, two, how many images we have? Um, so I have a one 147 images. So that means you can run, um, and so you, this is the same. This is also 32. You can run up to 32. Um, so make sure that you don't exceed the number 32 here. Okay, you can do 10, you can do, you can do from two to 32, right? You can do two by two to uh, 32 by 30. That's the limit you have, okay? So make, make as many iterations as possible so that uh, uh, when we do some exercise like uh, I showed you on the processing, you could get some interesting result. Like more variation is a better. So yeah, just be mind that the, this is, um, yeah, this is the assignment for the. Does the does the size uh, affect the processing time? Like if it is if it is smaller, it's faster or, or not really? You mean you mean this process? Yes, I mean yeah, the creation of the image. Yeah, of course. You know, it's so that more size is more information, right? So it will take more time. Okay. Um, so I, I, I got an error. Um, it, I mean, it, it, uh, it was uh, running for a while and then yeah. uh, there's an error here. Can, can I show you? Uh, yeah. Uh, I tried it first with the, with the 512 and got this error. And now I, I tried it with the 128 and also got this. Uh, can you stop there for a while so I can read it? I think that there is something wrong with your images. Uh, can you can we go to your uh, the folder? Just any nice folder further? Yeah. Open that. Can you keep keep scrolling down? to the end. Mm. 
any other. Um, okay. Uh, hmm. Do you think it's because um, so I, I have this on my on my drive, on my um, you know on my on my desktop. Uh huh. Do you think it's because like I think I have a this file here. Yeah. Yeah. That that that. Okay. I see. I try I try to delete it and. Or change the folder. Okay, I'll try that. Okay. Could it could be? I think that the the problem is that the um, the um, Keras was uh, not recognizing that the uh, file because uh, we were specifically targeting for the image, and then it found something that's not image. Mm, okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Uh, anyone hel else have a problem? Any issues? Any questions? Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if I want to like uh, took my own picture and change that to this um, thing we did. Like, there um, was what are some points I should like care about? What what? I could understand. Like if I want to use my own picture to break this in and do this process again um, by tomorrow, like uh, uh, okay. that should be. Let me cover that then. Uh, let's let's make the let's go over making the data set. Um, what what are the sum of images that you want to find? Let's say um, uh, cat. We can download cat images. Um, But it needs to be. Oh, it doesn't matter actually. Um, I'm just gonna save it in the. Um, um, no, like we we won't actually find PNGs. Um, okay, JPG is fine. JPG is fine, and I'm going to use the JPG. Um, cat, cat one, and uh, cat two. Uh, I'm just gonna do two for now, and the uh, uh, you should go to the resize mat that I sent you uh, or that I uploaded on the uh, uh, Google Drive, and the uh, here. You, you should check the uh, your original um, uh, resolution here. It's a 1,200 by 1,200, yes. Uh, it's a square setting, so you don't have to trim anything, but then desirably, you want to have it in uh, multipli multiplication of 128, so, um, or 32. Um, let's say for the convenience, um, that's uh, 1,024, but because this is a 1,020, we can maybe go a little bit over. So, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, let's go for actually, um, let's go for uh, 1,152, that that's an aim resolution, 1,000, like you copy this and then you copy here, copy here, and uh, you're copying this into the um, input folder. And uh, actually, we didn't need to do that. Uh, input add. Um, you make the input and output folder here. Uh, and you just need to change this uh, to your folder name. Inder and outer. Yeah, and uh, you put it in the in input cat. 
then it will recognize that those cat images and then we'll call it for this uh, cat and uh, see like we now have a two cats yeah and uh, um, these two cat images now goes into the image splice uh, splice overlap you have this uh, process yeah uh, Sarita? yeah yeah and we put this in the uh, data and uh, um, now we're done with the resize mat so we close the resize mat and then we open the image splice overlap here uh, and uh, you need to change the uh, resolution to let's say one to eight one to eight if this is aim aim image width for um for the cutting so if you want the one one to eight by one to eight images you should change this to one to eight yeah and uh, uh this one to one to eight uh one to eight and the namespace is um it means the name of that uh, file. So here I have a cat uh, cat zero uh, dot png. So I will copy this. I mean here load image here, and then the namespace will be the uh, cat. Um, so this is the uh, in there. This is the out there, right? Or the uh, this is an in name. This is a uh, out name. Uh, and uh, you run that. Um, and actually, before you run it, you want to make a, a, another folder called a cat, and then the, change this to cat, um, then run it. Then this folder will be full of the cats. Um, there are some white white spaces, but that's okay. White spaces can be also used in the uh, you know. Uh, image sets. Now you have this uh, cat images. Yeah. Uh, you upload it to um, here, make another uh, folder. Um, cat. cat one, one, two, eight. Uh, and in this folder, you upload your cat, cat images. And uh, here now you can see that you have uh, 324 items. That means that the, the number of the image, the cat images that you have is 324. And you bring out the calculator again, and uh, 324. And you do the square root, and then that means that it means that you can have a 18 maximum uh, uh, grid. So uh, while you're waiting for the upload, you go to the TSN grid master, and you change this to 18, and uh, uh, you change this. Uh, okay, let's change this to cat, and uh, you need to change the directory as well. Here, it was a directory name was a cat uh, one to eight. Yes. Uh, so, but with the capitalized letter, don't miss that capitalized cat, uh, capitalized cat. And uh, um, now we wait until this upload finish. Once this the upload is finished, you run this, and it will give you a cat a cat assembly. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Yeah. I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll see what kind of uh, assembly uh, the guess uh, any will make with this cat images and share with, uh, share it with the uh, class tomorrow. Uh, I have a quick question. Yeah. Uh, can I show my screen real quick? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I've done a few iterations here. So uh -huh. let's say this is 32 by 32 and complexity is 50. Yeah, yeah. And this is the same thing here. And 
I mean, same purple like it's 50 here, but we can see the different outcomes here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the so question is, can we figure out what makes the differences between this and this images, even though it has the same complexity? No? No, it's just uh, how the algorithm works. You know, this algorithm is not aimed to reproduce something. It is, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I, I, I know that you had the same question yesterday, but then right. <laughs> the merely a representation of how these informations are spread out in the like, you know, high dimensional vector space. So mm -hmm. what they do is they pick out a few images and then just, it's almost like, you know, you have an ice tray and then you pour the water. You cannot have, you cannot control well that uh, where the water will overflow, mm -hmm. right? So there is a, some, some sort of a tendency that you can predict where the water mm -hmm. overflows the ice cube, you know, the tray. But then uh, you cannot exactly reproduce how those overflow happen. So there is a, some random factor within it that's inevitable. So again, in that case, so like, let's say uh, this group is 50 here. So now we can see that kind of this blue curtain water stuff so gathered together here and this kind of break uh, brown thing stuff together here. So we can just say, hey, there's some, some kind of relationship with the same things have some group here. So it doesn't matter with the location of this group here, right? Yeah, yeah. It's about the relationship between one image to another image. Like the, if you see here, this is a one, one, one voxel, right? This yes. this image has a, some relationship with this this right, but then mm. the TSNE somehow thinks that it has a similar relationship with the rest of the things around here. What happens between here and there? Like that, this is actually from the same building, almost mm -hmm. same building. It's like the same brick and everything, but then mm -hmm. uh, the computer somehow thinks that there is a, some uh, differences between one to another because mm. of for computers. Uh, images, they don't see the image as an image. They see image as a, a information array. Got it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So actually I have another question here. So let's say, uh, let's say this is my area here. Um, so for example, uh, like this kind of commercial one story building or some one story market here. I mean, of course, there's a some four story, uh, this kind of townhouse I mean, apartment here as well. But in this case, yes, I can imagine that maybe we can just capture these images here uh, by, and then by using Photoshop, we can make a pattern, something like that. But in the case of like this one here, somehow mm -hmm. we need to capture like car or some uh, sky or trees, or some, some kind of stuff. So is there a way to uh, combine these things with consistency? I mean, let's say this one, um, for example, let's say this is, let's say, okay, every, every floor is 10 feet here. Uh, therefore, this first floor is higher, but yeah. So this is fine here. And let's say this one is 10 foot here, but let's say this is 15 foot here. So once we cut trim the every images scale as a 10 foot by 10 foot, so that the, in the case of this one here, we the rest of the five foot will be rest of the here. So yeah, yeah. Uh, how did you deal with that kind of this issue? I mean, when some of to... this like the manual labor is inevitable. Uh, of course mm -hmm. you would want to ideally like, have everything as automated process, but the, mm -hmm. some of the things are actually faster to uh, do it by, you know, to be done by a human. Uh, mm -hmm. One thing that you can do, can you actually do auto, or, almost like orthographic view for this building? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, something like this. So one thing that you can do is that the, you can actually capture your build, the building <laughs> yeah at the edge of this at, at the edge of this right of course you uh -huh. will have some you know, unwanted information here but something then like that uh -huh. yeah, yeah something like that and it, the one thing that you can do is that once you know the measurement from here to there mm -hmm. here to there you can splice your images uh using the uh, image splice overlap do you mm -hmm. have a image splice overlap uh, on your computer I guess so. But yeah, it's it's not perfect. So it's like 
you need to just measure uh -huh. how many cuts can you make uh, on you know horizontally vertically uh -huh. so that you, you you don't you don't when you cut this information cut this information you can just quickly mm -hmm. select and delete it from that uh, list of uh, things that's already cut okay yeah right what what is the tool that you again image splice overlap the it's on the yeah. the uh, stp platform uh, stp the google drive okay so image. go to the yeah go to the uh, google google drive uh to the shared shared folder from the uh, stp uh okay Shared drive yeah. no share it with where is the uh, SDP? Yeah, here, here. Um, it's here. Cool. Yeah, and uh, if you go to the processing sketch code, image splice overlap. Oh, this one. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, I downloaded it. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, and shoot me an email if you have uh, some problem. Uh, it, for those of you who fit, fit, didn't finish running the uh, the script on the uh, uh, Google Colab, or mm -hmm. gen in general, uh, questions about the data process, the, the image processing, let me know. Um, uh, I will be available through the email. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so. Um, I think we covered uh, important information today and uh, uh, tomorrow it will be most, more, more like a post-processing. So please have your image ready by tomorrow. You know, this uh, TSNE uh, thing. If you don't like try it right now and then you, you would want to come back to it months later, two months later, you will forget most of it and then you will have much difficulty to follow. So I would really recommend you to try this uh, out uh, tonight and then tomorrow uh, afternoon so that you can follow uh, you know the, uh, follow the class in the same direction okay uh, any other questions before we go no okay um, just uh, just um, roughly you know how long should we wait for uh, you know the, the code to to run you know because it takes a while for me and you know, what's the maximum that, so I, so I know, okay, there's a problem, it's not working or something. So, um, okay, let me share a screen. So if you have memory running out issue, uh, it will, um, let me, let me see if I can recreate that issue. Um, Is kept in one spot. Um, you're, let's say you're running uh, 512. Mm -hmm. um, and you do, let's say, the maximum size here. Mm If, if your stop runs out of the memory, it will generate a message at the end of your thing. Like it's some weird, like, a, like special character messages uh, saying you, it ran out of memory. Mm -hmm. And the Google, Google kicked you out uh, from the system. So that means that you reach out the, 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 the data cap. The reason why I uploaded uh, this idea uh, one to eight was that the with the one to eight you could make like thirty by thirty grid, but then with the image image five one two with the standard version, not the high rem version, you know the the, the paid version, mm -hmm. I couldn't run it safely for the larger size without running into the memory issue. So if you are using uh, the uh, five one two image, 
10 by 10 is probably the maximum that you can do. Okay. But for the uh, image, image one to eight, it, you should be able to do 32 by 32 because I, I could do it, but then it's heavily dependent on the, what kind of a, the, you know, graphics card you get. If you get nicer graphics card, you might be okay for the day, but depending on the, how Google Colab feels about your usage of Google Colab for free, they can kick you out much earlier. So it really depends. There is a no really like a clear, really like a, a bottom line, mm -hmm. but you know, just try it. You know? Okay. Yeah. No. Actually, it, it, it worked now. Uh, I think I well, I, I remounted it and did everything again and made made sure that file was not in the folder. Um, yeah, it works now. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great.